he's picked off from him. He's whacking away at the guy. He had him in real trouble in the in the second round. Beat him up in the third and the fourth, in, in my opinion. And had him in trouble as well in the last round. Well, he's certainly punching the harder. And he has been a sharper puncher. Yeah, there's no doubt he's made progress from the last the, the last encounter. He's the, the one that's improved. And Hassan has just got older. And he's gradually grinding him down here, which I, I really feel that a sustained attack from him could end this fight. Hassan's really showing, beginning to show his age here. He's, uh, he's lead in his legs, he's got little movement, and, and Joseph is switching his attacks to the body and to the head. He's still pretty much wide open as he walks in, but he has this guy in so much trouble. He's just walking through. Is there any kind of strategy that you see that Hassan could employ to, to at least uh, try to keep Joseph under control here? He's got to try and punch more. When right, Joseph's right. coming at him, he's just got to try and load up and just hit the, uh, hit him with straight shots as he walks in because Joseph's walking in with his hands down. Hopefully that he can get lucky. Hassan, that, 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 that sort of style, you know, the well dries up pretty quickly. You know, some guys, of course, depending on their genetics, can last longer than others. But he's uh, he's drying up right in front of her eyes here. Joseph looks to be in well, or looks to be well conditioned, picking up in the schooling as he develops. Yeah, he's. Uh, He's, he's getting better. He, as I say, he still has to work in the defense. Picks up shots as he walks in like that. And that's Hassan's only chance that he walks into a sucker punch. Joseph, that is. Perhaps if he if he was to bob and weave a little more in the Joe Frazier fashion as he was the, as he was coming in like that, it might be better for him uh, defensively, or as Tyson used to do early in his career. Yeah, that's what he's got to do. He's an attacking fighter. He's got to have lateral movement. He's got to work on this. But he's in the lead here, and he's, uh, in my opinion, on this one too. All right, round five coming to an end, scheduled for 12. Stay with us on Prime. Here we go into round six now, this uh, light heavyweight battle. Scheduled for 12, the Jimmy Joseph in the black trunks, 12-1-1 one one in his career, defending his international WBC title against Ramsey Hassan, a two-time challenger for the world championship. Lost to both Virgil Hill and to Michael Moore. With Hill, he did go the distance, although there was certainly no question in that fight who a winner was. And with more, he was stopped in four rounds. And Hassan trying to start a little faster here in round number six. You know, Richard, the longer this fight goes on, the more it will suit Hassan because the younger man will get tired. And as, it, as we said, as I said before, his his defense has been pretty lackluster. And uh, if Hassan can manage to hang in there until the later rounds, he'll have a better chance of pulling off a, a, one of those knockdowns again, possibly. If uh, if Joseph walks on to him, but uh, he's looking pretty dangerous and ominous at this stage. Joseph, look at that right hand. Yeah, earlier, as Hassan was leaning in, he caught a look. Oh, right back. A tremendous right out of nowhere, and I don't think Jimmy Joseph can get up. He's, not he's out. Look at those eyes. Well, Ramsey Hassan is scoring a stunning knockout here at the Cosmo Hall. just out on his feet and kind of hunted over this kid. He's not getting up. A major league bomb, which may be the best punch yeah. that Ramsey Hassan has thrown in his career. <laughs> what an incredible punch. A stunning knockout. And, and this fan with this entire crowd of fans was just startled. There was an audible gasp that you could hear from everybody, and there's Joseph still in deep trouble on the ground. Badly hurt. He's badly hurt. I hope he's okay now. But watch when he gets hit with the punch. You'll see him jump when he's down on the ground. Let's look for it. It's the same punch. Look, it's a right hand around the side. He hit him on the temple with that one. Didn't hit him on the chin. Hit him on the side of the head, the temple. And that's the most second and blow. Have a look at it now from another angle. Watch where he hits him. On the side of the head, that's the most dangerous place to be hit. 
and he just he just snapped his legs from underneath him. It's a great shot. Walked right under it, and uh, just lost control of his legs completely. And, uh, that's an incredible finish from, from Ramzi Hassan. There is a tenacious. I'm going to say a young man, but uh, a tenacious veteran. And that's a tremendous win for him. We well, talked about Rich and what did he have left? Did he have any any chance? And that was just a sucker blow. All righty. Tremendous victory for Hassan. Let's go to Jimmy Lennon Jr. now for the official particular. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of 1 minute 11 seconds in round number 6. The winner by way of knockout and the new WBC International Light Heavyweight Champion, Ramsey Hassan. really pulling one out of the fire. Incredible victory for Hassan, who seemed to be on his way to sure defeat. But with that right hand, he scores the 35th victory, 11th KO of his career, and wins the international light heavyweight title of the WBC. Stand by. We'll be right back. And we welcome you back to the Taj Mahal. Jimmy Joseph, who was uh, just knocked out here in Atlantic City, is uh, in the ring. He is over in his corner, sitting on the stool where he is being attended to by physicians. And they're doing a little reflex work with him. He just kicked out his leg and head down, obviously very disappointed. Very then it just appeared to be a fight he had completely under control at that point in one punch ruined down. Yeah, there you go. I mean, he shunned defense the entire way through the fight, and, you know, this is what has happened as a result of it. He's okay. He's just a bit stunned, and, uh, you know, he's just taken a rest, and they're right to keep him now until he's completely recovered. And, and you know, let's have a look at this punch again that knocked him out. It was a good, tremendous shot just, just at the side of the left eye. Let's listen to the punch land if we can. And look at how quickly he dropped there. He just dropped like this. Like he, was, he was shot. There was an incredible effect on him. And uh, I think he's recovered okay. He's just so disappointed to. And he's a bit dejected and he's sitting there just... The doctors don't want to move him until he's completely recovered. He probably doesn't even realize how the knockout occurred at this point. But I'm sure it will be explained to him. Yeah. And he knows at this point that he was beaten and has lost his title. Yeah, he will watch the, the replay of the, of the knockout and uh, be disgusted with it because he was so far ahead and it looked like he had Ramsey Hassan out on his feet. But there All you right. go. Jimmy Joseph uh, takes his 